Now, there's also good evidence from paleomagnetism, which perhaps you remember from oceans, that the continents have moved. Let's just deal with two of them and look how that indicates that the continents may once have been united. You remember that when igneous rocks cool, they assume as the iron minerals such as magnetite cool through the so-called Curie point at about um, oh, 580 degrees centigrade, they assume the direction of the Earth's magnetic field. We talked about this in oceans. And when the continents were united, we can assume that they would, all the igneous rocks cooling at a particular time would have the same uh, direction frozen into them. They would point to the same North Pole. If we collect rocks of identical age today from Africa and South America, we find that rocks of the same age point to quite different places, very, very separate uh, positions for the North Pole of, let's say, 400 million years ago. But if we put them together again, according to their geometrical fit, to their jigsaw fit, we find that they point to the same North Pole. And this can be done with all of the southern continents and also with the northern continents. And it was this evidence from paleomagnetism that finally clinched the theory of continental drift.